Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. If you're seeing me for the first time, welcome. My name is Malvika and I have a two-year-old toddler. My channel is all about parenting, motherhood and baby care. So if you're interested or if you're traveling on the same boat as me, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification nearby so that you will be instantly notified when I post a brand new video. Today's video is about the developmental milestones of a 2 to 2.5 year old toddler. If you have been following my channel, you would know that there are various other milestone videos in my channel. So if you want to go check them out, I will add the videos here on top and in the description box below. So without wasting much time, let's jump right into the video. As far as a 2 to 2.5 year old toddler is concerned, there will be a giant leap in their motor skills and cognitive skills. So this is what we are going to discuss today. Let's begin with motor skills. So when it comes to motor skills, your toddler will be very comfortable in holding a pen or a pencil and will like to scribble on a piece of paper. If you also give them paint, they would love to paint and scribble all over, which is a developmental milestone at this age. They would have come a long way as far as the hand-eye coordination is concerned. So if you want to develop that further, you can try different sensory activities at home. I will attach a few clips of my son's activities at school. So if you're not able to send your child to school at the moment or if you find it's too early, you can look at all those videos and get an idea on what to do at home. These are very simple activities and I have tried these at home too. It keeps my son occupied and also helps with his coordination a lot. Another major milestone is they would have gained a lot of stability in their legs. So if you take them out to a park or an indoor playground, you will notice that they have started to jump off the ground, climb on top of things and try to jump from there. Your scared little sweet baby will turn into a brave and adventurous one at this time. This is also a right time to introduce a tricycle or a scooter. They will gain a lot of stability and confidence when they start riding those. Now let's move over to cognitive skills. Your toddler will be able to speak well now. Even though not in full complete sentences, they would try their best and at least add five to six words in a sentence by now. They will try to talk and explain everything like how you did to them when they were a child. It might not be clear and understandable, but it's the right way to go. Bye, boyo. Uh, pinna, puti. Are you fun to go? I am fine, thank you. Your toddler will try to sing his or her favorite rhymes or songs by now. If you let them listen to songs on a daily basis, you will definitely see this difference. My son, who is 25 months old now, can sing a few of his favorite rhymes. Oh my God, you are the family. 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 You are the Paul McDonald. I give up. Yeah, you. Good job. I know you wouldn't have understood a word of what he just sang, but he was trying to sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. If you haven't started already, this is the right time to begin with books. And if you have been doing this for quite some time, you will find out that your child will have a favorite book, a favorite page, a favorite character. They might even finish the sentences coming in the book. What's this? News. What's this? Do this. Good job. Sunflower. Well done. Banana. Very good. And it's also a great time to introduce puzzles to your little ones. If you haven't already, I recommend that you do that because it really helps them with their coordination, thinking and also keeps them occupied for a while. If you want to know the importance of puzzles and what kind of puzzles that you can introduce to your toddler, you can check out the video here on the cards and I will also leave the same in the description box below. Another major leap that you will notice is brushing their teeth. Your toddler would now begin to understand that this is a non-negotiable thing that he has to do every single day and he would have accepted it by now. They might refuse initially like for the first couple of minutes but then they will just give in. If you have a very curious toddler you can even give him the brush beforehand 
and allow him to play for a while and then you can do the brush so that's it guys these are the different milestones that you can expect when your toddler hits the 2 to 2.5 year old mark as i always say if you find that your toddler is slightly behind on certain milestones it's absolutely all right because every child grows in his or her own pace but at any point of time if you feel that there is an issue or something doesn't feel right then you can always consult with your child's pediatrician and go ahead with what they say just to be safe at this age there are three major red flags that you have to look for number one is if your child is avoiding direct eye contact if your child is not looking at you when you're speaking to them if they are not looking at you when they are trying to tell you something then that's a kind of red flag second one is regression if your child used to do something really well and now they have seemed to have forgotten that it's also kind of a red flag Please keep that in mind and if you find your child is doing this, it's always best to consult with your doctor. And the third one is if your toddler is not able to speak even one or two words at a time, then you might have to consider talking to your doctor about it also. They might give your toddler some speech therapy so that they can motivate and encourage him to talk more. So that's it guys. We have come to the end of this video. I hope this was beneficial and useful. If yes, please do subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends. I will be back with another video soon. Till then, bye.